Hello and welcome to your hopefully last video for a while and this is us setting up a summer project and it's about thinking about what you are missing. You can either complete this in this last week of term or you can use it as something for sort of a rainy day project over the summer. Now I've got first of all a little retrieval for you and it's about thinking about significance or importance. So can you remember the invention that emplaced monks copying from books? Now I've argued in class, I've argued over lockdown. This is possibly the most important invention, in my opinion, in the last 500, maybe 1000 years. It revolutionized so many things. Why was it so, so important? And then my second thing, Henry VIII broke from Rome. He completely changed the religion of the country. Why was that so massively important? And again, think about at the time why that would have been so, so massively significant for the people living at the time. But also, what has it been its long term impacts? How has that changed the way that we live our lives and that people in the past have lived their lives over time. Now would be a good time to pause this so you can answer those. Right, now hopefully you've learned about some topics that you've found interesting in doing your history so far at Rye College. And there's lots more to come in the next year over the next course of your time here. Hopefully with you coming into the GCSE history as well and exploring some of the topics we've got there in a lot more depth. But a lot has to be left out. We just have to miss it out as we just don't physically have the time in an hour and a half effectively a week, three periods over a fortnight. We can't cover everything that has happened throughout human history, throughout the entire world. We just physically can't fit it in. And I've had to make some tough choices and there's things that I've had to cut. There's things that I've had to say, there's just no way they can fit in. So this project is your chance to teach yourself and to teach myself, Mr Carvalho, about something that you find interesting or that we should all know about. Convince me to put this in the curriculum for future years, that we can look at this topic, this idea, this event and try and encourage others to also see why it's so interesting. Now on the screen you should see a range of different topics. Everything from people like the life of Nelson Mandela or the work of Marie Curie or even people like Lady Jane Grey who was Queen of England for just nine days or Joan of Arc who was eventually burnt as a witch but who led the French army into battle during the medieval periods. You might want to look at great big time periods. You might want to look at the ancient Greeks or Egypt or the Spanish conquest with the Incas and the Aztecs. You might want to look at specific events, the Easter Rising perhaps in Ireland or how the Wild West was won with the Native Americans and the Cowboys or the French Revolution or did the moon landing really happen or any of these different things. These are just a few ideas. You could pick a topic of your own. You might want to run it past your teacher just to make sure that what you're doing seems good, but you've, you've got the whole scope of human history to investigate here and to be able to research. So don't feel you're limited just by these options, but we also know that the, the scope of history is so wide, we wanted to give you some suggestions to get you started, to get you thinking. And none of these things are able to come up on our teaching timetable at the moment. I'm sorry. Your work should include perhaps a booklet, but it should be full of facts and information and pictures, or it could have another method that you wish to pre present your work in. But it does need to show careful research and it does need to be quite interesting, please. Now, I love history. I find so much of history fascinating so it shouldn't be too hard to keep me interested but I want to see that you've enjoyed it I want to see that you've found it interesting 
but it sparked your interest, your attention. And the best way to do that, the best work is always, in my opinion, things that people have got a passion for and they've clearly enjoyed doing. Now, we're going to look at some various skills in this. And one of the key ones is cause and consequence. To get the top marks for cause and consequence, it really depends on whether you chose a person, an event or a period of study. If you pick a person to look at, say, I don't know, Martin Luther King, you could describe an event in their life. And the most important bit is explain why that happened. Perhaps explaining how that event led to other things, why it was so important for them. You might look at a particular event. So, for instance, Stalin's purges in the um, communist Russia. Again, you describe the event and explain why it happened or why it was so important. You might look at a whole time period, the ancient Greeks, for instance. You could describe that period and explain what influenced them to live like that or why the Aztecs in that period sacrificed people what the point of it was. And again, it's about that explanation. Another key skill is looking at change and continuity. What has developed and, and changed in some way? What has continued on has stayed the same? How has that person, event or period changed the world? You're trying to show a lasting change that this person, event, period has made. You could look at this by thinking about what it was like before and then after them. But you also do have to explain what that, char that, that change actually is. And a key skill, try to write entirely in your own words. It doesn't mean don't use the internet. It doesn't mean don't research, but it means explain what you have found and ensuring that it, it actually answers the questions asked above. I do not need you to copy and paste part of a website. I should not see any copying and pasting happening. Very easy to tell. If a piece isn't written the way that you normally write, the way you normally speak, I only have to type a few words from a phrase of it into Google and up will pop that website. It's called plagiarism. It's not okay, it's cheating. I'd rather you don't do it than you just copy someone else's work and pass it off as your own. Instead, read that work, put it into your own words, show that you are understanding it. If you're just copying and blindly, copying and pasting, it's not showing me that you've read and understood that information. You could create a booklet, as I've said. You could make a PowerPoint. You could even make a video, perhaps a talking over a PowerPoint slide like I'm doing now, or even just a voice recording. Or you can think of any other way you could present it to us and submit it before summer, before school begins, after the summer holidays, please. Now, should you have any problems? Should you have any issues? Should you just want to say hi? Please feel free to talk to us at the drop-in clinics or to email us. Our email addresses are here. Take care and I hope you do have a wonderful summer and that lockdown continues to ease and that we, we all just get out of this the other side and can see each other again as soon as possible. Take care, stay safe, and see you soon. <laughs>